Hi and welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your July 2020 love forecast. Now it is a general reading, so always trust yourself what resonates, believe what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And uh, if you do regularly follow me and you haven't yet subscribed, I just suggest you hit the notification bell, the subscribe button to make sure my videos come through to you in your feed. And uh, if you're wondering what order the videos are coming out, it's those videos with the highest numbers of likes and views are coming out first. So kind of about in the middle based on uh, last month's love readings, Aquarius. All right, let's get started with your reading. And uh, you can also get all of my uh, video readings in MP3 audio download if you want to listen to them again during the month. It's free on your mobile, your favorite device. Link's going to pop up here as well as be in the description box below. And uh, I've also just released some exciting new uh, teas and tanks for couples in terms of love. They're kind of, uh, kind of quirky, sexy, humorous. Yeah, so go check those out. Uh, they're in my Teespring store and I'll pop the link on here, yeah as well as the pick of what they look like. All right, let's get started. So we're going to open up your reading Aquarius with the Lover's Oracle. It's a deck by uh, Tony Carmine Salerno. And uh, if you like the decks in this reading, they're all listed down below. All right. Oh, wow. This is kind of very reflective, almost like she's needing a rest, yeah? She's facing face down, it says Aquarius. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Very beautiful. Uh, it's often very much about overcoming things that you're saying to yourself in your mind versus trusting your intuition, your heart to guide you, whether that be in love or life. All right, Aquarius, we're going to pull you some guidance around love from the uh, Romance Angel Oracle. Now, this is for couples and singles. And again, just take what applies to you. It is a general reading. You have the message to stay positive and optimistic about your love life. It's going to draw that love to you, particularly singles. You've also got children affecting your love life right now. So maybe your children, uh, it could be your partner's children. Uh, if you're coupled up, it may be that you've got differences in terms of one person might want children, one might not be ready, may not want them. Could just be children stressing out your love relationships right now. <laughs> Finding that time to get together. Okay, this flew up. Uh, you've got someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship, a little bit of deception going on. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that a third party it can just mean hiding their feelings, not expressing themselves, something maybe bothering them that they're not speaking up about. Might be you. Now, the message takes some time away and have a holiday together. The honeymoon card. I mean, obviously, we've got restrictions going on right now with COVID 19 about where you can travel to. Uh, I know here, I'm in Perth, Western Australia, so they've lifted a lot of the restrictions. I think we've only got two active cases right now. Both of those are in quarantine. Um, so we can travel within our state. We yet cannot travel across borders. And we don't, we can't travel internationally, but it's about taking that quite some time together. It'll just be a weekend away. Some of you are calling in your soulmate, your prayers, your affirmations are going to bring the two of you together. And it definitely speaks to singles. Getting really clear about what you want in a soulmate, putting those vibrations out to the universe. And you got the message to go ahead and express your love, make that romantic gesture, particularly if you're interested in someone. Definitely speaks to singles. It can also mean, in terms of committed partnerships, if you're not opening up and expressing your love enough to your partner, it's about doing that. And your message is safe for your love to open your heart up to express the highest love of all. Whether you're coupled up or single, it means releasing any hurt in your heart chakra from the past and just opening up to new love in your life or your love that's currently in your life. Wow. Sitting right under deception is release your ex times come to clear your energy. So 
A couple of messages channeling through right now. Some of you are already in a new relationship or a partnership and you're still thinking about the ex or it's still in your heart chakra, you need to release it, yeah? It's, it's preventing you from opening up fully to the relationship that you're in. Some of you may be pining over your ex, still attached to the energy of your ex, and spirit saying you're deceiving yourself you just need to release that energy um, you may be recycling through things this is it directly under the honeymoon card and take some time together yeah give your relationship a chance and work on that partnership speaks to your existing relationship put the effort in and for those of you calling in your soulmate spirit saying this is singles yeah you need to get your flat on <laughs> yeah extend that light-hearted energy to others let others know that you're interested that you're single that you're looking in a fun way All right. let's pull you some clarifiers from the angel answers oracle is there any eternal aquarius hmm, sorry what's come out You've got a timeline of within the next few months. It's directly related to you being positive above your, about your love life and expressing your feelings, um, particularly with someone you're interested in. It's a timeline that it may come together in the next few months. You may draw a new per person to you in the next few months. Wow. You've got an unlikely here. And it's a specific message for just a few of you, right? So if you're someone that wants children and your partner doesn't want children, the one you're currently with, Spirit's saying it's unlikely, um, that relationship, it's about trusting yourself, opening your heart up to love to find out what you really want. Hmm. Also got recovery here. Directly speaks to deception and releasing your ex. So you may be in recovery, some sort of physical ailment, your part, the person that you was in your past, your ex may be in recovery. Um, hopefully you're not with someone and, and you may have a health issue that you're not revealing about self. Just be mindful of that. Kind of interesting. It certainly speaks to a timeline going on. But within the next few months and in the near future, directly related to those coupled up, going on a holiday together, giving your relationship a chance, that that um, relationship's going to deepen in the next few months if you're going to take those steps. And those of you single, getting your flirt on, calling your soulmate, spirit saying there's no need to worry. Just go with the flow and ask your angels for what you want. Um, I will pull you a clarifier on the unlikely and the recovery going on here. Spirit saying choose a new direction, particularly those that need to release the energy of an ex, you need to go in a new direction. And the angels are helping you at this time, absolutely. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Whispers of Love Oracle. It's by uh, Angela Hartfield. Let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. This is super interesting. It says, consider your foundation and how committed you are to love. So some of you, it feels like you've got one foot in and one foot out of a current relationship and still pining over an ex. But it's also for those of you that are single, you're not fully putting yourself out there expressing your love in re relationships. It's about how important is love to you or how important is that person to you. All right, we're going to pull a crowning energy from the Heal Yourself Oracle by uh, Inner Seagal, and this is released by Rockpool Publishing. So if you like it, all the details are down below. It's very much about uh, parts of self that need healing and transformation or your relationships. What is it Aquarius needs to know? This is beautiful. You've pulled love and... Um, She's very reflective and yet the guy in the picture is kind of looking at her out of the picture in terms of it's almost like he's alive but he's looking down at her through that picture. He's in a picture frame. Let's put up the guidance. 
it says Aquarius let go of your limiting beliefs about love your heart desires more connections love and nourishment and you're at a point in your life where you need to learn how to truly give and receive love all through your reading dare I say fully opening your heart will awaken your vulnerability your sensitivity and fear in particular your fear of rejection and intimacy with another person however you will also unleash your passion your inspiration your greatness and ability to care deeply start seeing how great life is and will be when you connect with others if you've been holding on to past pain it's time to acknowledge feel and move forward give yourself permission to let people in ask for love with all your heart and soul and it will come to you well, look for something beautiful in everyone you encounter focus on feeling good Whenever you see people loving each other and know this is coming to you in a form of love, either in a love of a lifetime relationship or an incredible friendship. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very much Aquarius about opening up to love. Always a conscious choice. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to grab your free MP3 audio file of this reading if you want to listen to it again during the month. Check out those brand new teas for couples. Yeah, it's all they're quite humorous and sexy, by the way. Kind of fun. A little bit of fun. All right, and for now, much love, much light. Namaste.